Good morning, Stampers. This is Diane Cisneros, and today I want to demonstrate the scallop, scalloped tag topper punch and the angled tag topper punch. And I'm going to show you a couple of things I made with it. And the uh, I got this idea from Mary Fish on Stampin' Pretty. Mine are just a, a little different, but um, this is uh, something that I see a lot online. Um, they are perfect for just putting putting it on somebody's desk or just dropping it where if you're visiting somebody and you just want to put it in the kitchen before you go uh, it's a great little gift so um, I'm going to show you how to do these the first thing you're going to do I took a, uh, two pieces of uh, whisper white cardstock and they are cut two inches which is the width of the punch and I just chose um, six, six inches. You can make them a little shorter or a little longer, whatever you want. And then, because of the size of my candy, I, I didn't ha have the Giudelli chocolates, but I do have the York peppermint patty. And uh, once you fold this little flap down, you only need a very small area scored to fit that in there. So. Um, I scored this first line at two and three quarters, and then the second line is three and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this in and punch the scallop. There's one, and you turn it around and slide it all the way in and do two. Then you are going to score the fold the score lines. Very easy. Okay, so we have one that is almost done. Now I took a piece of uh, a little piece of paper that is two by two, and I took that from this little uh, Fresh Prince Designer Series paper pack, all uh, Valentine colors, and I chose this red one, and I'm going to just put a little uh, adhesive on it and I'm going to stick it to the front okay and then I took uh, this stamp set which I haven't used in a while it's called uh, delightful dozen and be my valentine is right here And so I stamped that on a piece of white paper and I went ahead and used my word bubble framelits. And I used the big round one to cut this out. And I put that in the uh, big shot. So I'm going to um, just glue this to the top. I'm going to put it right in the center and then I took uh, my smallest little heart punch and I punched out a piece of red glimmer paper and I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that. Now you can also use dimensionals I just didn't happen to bring any and set that right over that circle Okay, so then I have a piece of real red stitched grow grain. Now let's get our candy in there first. Okay, so I'm just going to just put a little bit of adhesive. Just sit that in there on the fold. bring it up, fold your string or your ribbon, go through the front, this is easy, I just sometimes can't make it look easy, okay, 
Then you pull a loop, make a loop, and slide your other two in. Oh my goodness. And there you have it. Okay, so that's how easy it is. Um, you can trim these off if they're too long. And then the other one I made is with the angled punch. The same little measurement in the middle. I'm not going to make this one, but I'll show you. Angle. Oh, I've got this cut just a hair. Too. Okay, that's. If you want to make sure that you can fit in here, you want to make this about one hair smaller than two inches. I've got it right at two inches. It fit on this side, and it's not fitting on this side. Okay, so um, same concept with this one. And there's a hole at the top so you can go through. And on this one, I use some of this gold twine gold baker's twine that's available in the um, occasions and then this little love stamp was one that came with uh, my paper pumpkin this time this month um, I used the hearts collection framelits I used my little gold uh, I used some gold foil with the same little heart punch that I used on the other one now this is uh, it's called watercolor washi tape and there's three rolls of washi tape available in the Occasions Mini, or the Occasions Catalog. And um, I just, I, I cut a piece longer than this, uh, two inches on both sides. And then after I got it placed where I wanted, I went and cut it up so it was all nice and even. So here's your little Valentine's gifts to drop by when people are not looking it, it's something that they will uh, be surprised to see and it means a lot so um, that's Diane will teach me that for today and I hope you'll give it a try uh, thanks for stopping by and I will see you soon